Clean Classic decided to give us something new for spring 2024, and it is this beauty right here, Spring Breeze. Oh, we're gonna talk about it. Let's get into it, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. These Santa Maria here, yes, we're talking about the latest release from Clean Classic, and this is Spring Breeze. This was kindly sent over to me from the brand, and I will be discussing it because I've been wearing this beauty. You all have seen it in some weekly roundups, and I have some thoughts. But as always, whenever it comes to a full dedicated review of a fragrance, I always rate fragrances by four categories. First category being mood, and that is simply how does this fragrance make me feel? When do I see myself wearing it? What time of day? All of that. We talk about it then. Second category is strength, and that is on a scale of one to ten, with one being this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle, to ten being this is nuclear powerhouse juice. Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance? We know we love that one. That's everybody's favorite category, I've noticed. And then fourth and finally, is this a comfort? getting fragrance yes or no so now you know how we do dedicated reviews and yeah let's get on into the specs of this fragrance as stated again this is a new release so this came out for spring 2024 so this is hot off of the presses and we love a new release don't we now let's see now I've talked about clean classic before and in particular one of my absolute favorite fragrances from clean classic is this be right here Nordic light now this one is more of my wintertime type of clean scent. However, I'm always in the mood for something for springtime. So that's why I was interested to check out this new Spring Breeze. I remember I saw it on the blogs and things. I'm like, okay, what is it going to give us? And now I can talk about it because I've been wearing it. So just a quick rundown about clean as well, you all. One thing about clean, they are very eco-conscious. They are very about protecting the earth and whatnot. They're also vegan and cruelty free. And another thing I like about the packaging and things, they are 100% recyclable. So very minimalistic packaging as you can see right here even down to the cellophane wrapper that comes over the boxes whenever you first get your fragrances everything is eco-friendly so that is something that is a concern to you they are the brand for you so now let's get into spring breeze in particular so what are the notes of this fragrance because y'all know we like to do a full breakdown so this fragrance is considered a floral musk scent so we have top notes of bergamot green apple and aldehydes we have mid notes of lily of the valley jasmine and lavender and then we have dry down of white musk we got some sandalwood in here and some orange blossom so to me i'm gonna tell y'all right now spoiler alert how the bottle looks and the packaging is how it smells and i'll explain as i get deeper into what i actually get from the fragrance now let's also talk about pricing and sizing now that's one thing about clean classic they are very relatively affordable when we talk about pricing within fragrance world especially now with everything that's going on i have to give them their props on it they've been relatively affordable so it comes in two sizes it has it comes in a one fluid ounce size which my nordic light right here would be an example of the one fluid ounce size or 30 mil and this retails for 44 dollars this size again and then the size that I have is the it's a two fluid ounce size right here two fluid ounces which is the 60 milliliter size and this size or the big daddy size is what it is retails for $74 so either way either size whether you get the smaller size or the larger size it is under $100 and Clean Classic does have sales so I also want to throw that in there too. So we love a good sale especially when it's already at a good price point. So I gotta give kudos there in that regard. So now we've read the notes, we know the pricing and all that. What does it actually smell like? <laughs> Now I am wearing the fragrance, but I want to refresh my nose to the scent like I always do. And the atomizer is really good too, by the way. Nice even spray. Whew. Okay. <laughs> to me, I get the aldehydes for sure. Lavender, Lily of the Valley. And then I get the white musk and the dry down. And like, most importantly on my body, because I have been wearing this, now this has been on my body for some hours the lavender to me comes out over time as you continue to wear it hmm. and then the opening on skin too you get more of the apple as well but absolutely the lavender comes out on the skin and that musk you're gonna smell that musk too so how this is a purple bottle lilac depending on your screen that's what i meant by it smells the way it looks so <laughs> That's what it actually smells like. So now let's get into the rating system, y'all. Mood of this scent. I think they absolutely nailed the name of this scent because that is absolutely the mood of this. This is a spring fragrance, you all. Spring Breeze literally is a spring fragrance. It's more so in early spring to me because it's on that crisp side because of the apple note. 
crisp daytime for sure. And it's kind of calming too because we know lavender is an aromatherapy type of note. So it's very relaxing to wear, especially if you've had a very stressful day. I know I have sometimes. <laughs> and that's when I like to wear it. I like to spray it on me to relax. So it's kind of a relaxing fragrance for that reason. So definitely a springtime scent, but one where you want to relax and unwind. That is the mood of this scent. Now, what is the strength of this fragrance, y'all? Strength is about a six. I gotta give it credit. What makes this scent a slightly above average is because of that lavender note. That lavender takes it over the edge. And then that green apple note is what gives it a little bit of tartness too. So it, to me, it's about a six. Now let's talk about longevity, everybody's favorite category. Longevity of this fragrance is about four hours, which to be fair is what I normally get from my other clean classic fragrances. So after about the four hour mark, you will have to retouch it if you want to smell it. It's not that it disappears all the way, it's just at that point, it is a skin scent. Also, since we're talking about longevity, this is a scent. Now normally clean classic fragrances are meant to be linear. That is how they are designed, meaning what you smell when you first spray them on is what you get hours later. This one to me, it actually developed more because like I said, I get more of the brightness and the opening, but then it dries down. I get more of the lavender and the musk, which are mid and base notes. So this one actually did develop more so than my traditional experience with the clean classic fragrances. So I was excited about that because I don't mind a good journey in the mix. Last category, is this a compliment getting fragrance? And let me tell you, yes, because nobody is mad at you for smelling clean and fresh, literally. So, I mean, the name makes sense. It does smell like a breath of fresh air. You smell fresh, you smell clean, you smell like lavender, <laughs> which nobody's mad at lavender because the lavender in here isn't too loud. It's not pungent. It leaves a nice trail when you walk around. It leaves a nice trail around others. This is a good scent where if you don't want to ruffle too many feathers, particularly say if you have like a doctor's appointment or whatnot, but you want to smell clean, you still want to have a smell on you, this is the type of scent for you. So I highly recommend Spring Breeze for that type of situation. This is one, particularly when it gets hot, especially. Nobody is mad at you for smelling like you're fresh and clean out the shower. <laughs> Nobody is mad. I know I'm not mad about this. So in those type of environments, more intimate environments, that is where you would get a compliment from, for sure, because it smells clean and fresh. <laughs> So all in all, do I think this was a good addition to the line? I do. I have talked about some other clean classic fragrances. I have some other ones in my collection, but all in all, I have been enjoying Spring Breeze. It's been fun to wear it. It's been fun to test it. It's been fun to really develop my thoughts with this fragrance and I'm still gonna keep wearing it. And I gotta admit, it's kind of sort of giving my Nordic Light baby a little bit of run for her money too. But Nordic Light, again, I reserve more so for the cooler weather because there's like a praline note in that one and then the Spring Breeze it is spring right now when I'm filming this video. It goes right now for the right season. So that is my dedicated review of this fragrance. I do recommend it. And of course, I'll put in the description box where you can get it from. Of course, their website, all that good information. But all in all, I think this was a solid release. And what it looks like, what the name suggests, what the notes are is exactly what you get. So we love a straightforward, straight to the point fragrance. I'm here for that. Let me know, have you smelled this new release from Clean Classic? Have you smelled for Spring Breeze? Have you smelled any of the other Clean Classic fragrances? Let me know in the comments below. Any others that you would recommend to me? Let me me know as well because I know you all do be rocking with clean fragrances so let me know in the comments and I will catch y'all in the next video bye y'all <laughs>